three, two, one, where are we going? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Would you turn up to the airport with zero idea as to where you're gonna go? Do you remember when you were a kid and you'd spin the globe and wherever your finger landed, that's where you'd visit? Well, visit in your head anyway. Think of that, except this time it's an online globe and we're actually visiting the place for real. So come and join us on this adventure as we go on a surprise trip. All right guys, so here is how we actually booked our surprise trip. I received a gift voucher for surpriseme.com for my birthday. It's a company based in Holland and they send you on a surprise trip anywhere in Europe. They have several options to choose from. So you can pick the bucket list one where you put all the cities you'd like to visit. They have a summer holiday option, so guaranteed sunshine. And they have a multi-city option, so you can visit two or more cities in one single trip. They'll organize your flights and accommodation and you'll always be in walking distance of the main attractions. The only clues you'll be given beforehand is what time to arrive at the airport and a live weather forecast. So get ready to guess because here come the clues. <laughs> We're dying. Ooh, it says let's go with the flow. Okay. Hi Lee and Lauren, hold on tight because this is the only hint you will receive and also the only information you really need at this point. <gasps> it's London Stansted! <laughs> it's London Stansted! <laughs> you have plenty of time to reveal your destination, pass through customs and get to the right gate. Coming home. Oh my god, we've got right, hold on. So We're we coming home? <laughs> 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 I know, I'm shaking. Cherry beans. How will I know what to pack? The weather forecast! This is gonna be a big clue, right? Not necessarily. I mean most of yours quite hot at the moment. Please be hot, please be hot, please be hot, please be hot. 404, it didn't work! What? No, it's not working. The travel page isn't working. It just keeps coming up saying 404. Not found. Oh, it's all getting very real, folks. It's all getting very real. One hour later. Lee is in a meeting, so he told me it's okay to go ahead and look at this. The weather is now working. We're gonna find out the, le the weather. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't talk. I'm so excited. Hold on one second till I get in here. The weather forecast. That's not what I was expecting. What? I thought it was gonna be really hot. Okay, it's saying now patchy rain possible on all of the days, and it's gonna be between 14 to 15 degrees. Okay, well, I guess they're the only two clues. We're flying out of Stansted, and we know the weather is gonna be around 14, 15 degrees with some chances of patchy rain. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, guys, ignore the state of me. It's been a very busy day. No time for hair, makeup, or an outfit change. You just gotta take me for what I am. So it is the night before the surprise trip and I'm trying to pack. And I don't know if you've ever gone on a surprise trip before, but it's pretty hard to pack when you don't know where you're going and what you're gonna be doing when you get there. So we are trying to pack for all eventualities. Am I the only person that does like a fashion show and tries on every outfit that you're gonna wear on holidays? Like, comment below, cause I don't think I'm alone in this. I like to put my tunes on, try on all my outfits, mix and match what's gonna work together so I can pack less. And I don't know if we're doing too much with the white and the cream and the Pharrell hat, but listen, we've been locked down for almost two years now. So I feel like no matter what opportunity you get, you should show up and show out cause I don't want to be in another lockdown again and not get to wear this fabulous hat. So I don't know, take it or leave it. It's a bit of an inconvenience to travel with because it's so big, but I don't know. We shall see. Anyway, fashion show continue. Let's keep packing. Packing is complete. I literally feel like a kid on Christmas morning. Like I I don't even think I'll sleep tonight. I'm that excited for this trip. I just love the fact that we don't know where we're going. Anyway, we will find out when we get to the airport at 10.30 tomorrow. So I will see you guys bright and early. Let's do this. We're here guys, we're at the airport and I believe that it is time to finish the countdown. Lee, can you get seen in this? Five, four, Lee, get in this. Three, two, one, where are we going? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. 
I'm literally shaking right now. I'm actually gonna cry. I'm that happy. I thought there was, I thought, I thought there was no way, no way in hell we were going. I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. You guys were going to cry now. Leave that absolutely. <laughs> it got you good. I am actually. <laughs> I've been wanting to go to Poland for the longest time. Oh my god, Lee. Pierogies. We're gonna get pierogies. We're gonna do a vodka tour. Okay, you guys, it's gonna be the best trip ever. Come and join us. Oh my god, I need to drink. I need to drink. Help me nerves. Never mind a coffee. I literally can't stop shaking. Okay, let's go to Poland. Flight time is in the region of two hours. Another border cross we can ask for your complete. And I'll provide an attention while the cabin crew points out that safety features on board is Boeing 737 800 series aircraft. Drinking with the Pope. A mountain pair be getting French toast. Tokyo sake sipping in the robe. Yo, Japan, dumb my hope we got the toe. Uh. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I got that. I got that. This is the room. It's absolutely massive. We got a fan to keep us cool because it's really hot. We got a full length mirror, a huge bathroom. Well, it's not really that big, but still, it's nice. And it's clean and it has a hairdryer. Perfect because I didn't pack mine. Huge double bed, loads of seating. It's not the fanciest, nanciest kind of place, but we are in the old traditional Polish buildings and the street views, honey. All right, guys, we are freshened up. I'm gonna leave the hat at home because it's really hot outside. Your girl has changed into shorts. And we're going girl's to- also <laughs> And this girl's also changed into shorts. Now we're going to head to Andurus. Andurus food truck. Maxana Krakowza. My pronunciation needs work. But we're gonna head to this really cool food marketplace because we are Marvin. Okay, let's go eat. Here is the Judah food market, and in it lies the famous Andrus pulled pork sandwich. But if pork isn't your thing, they also have zappy kanki, pizza baguettes, Thai food, Belgian fries, and even a coffee stand. We opted for the hot and spicy pulled pork sandwich served by this lovely gentleman, along with some Belgian frites and a fritz cola to top it all off. Bon appetit. It's like a, like a kind of flat pork cola. Hey you guys, we just got our sandwich. I don't know how I'm going to eat this, it's absolutely massive. Oh, it's good. It's so good. That's really good. Unreal. Fries 10 out of 10. Pull pork burger 10 out of 10. Pull the off to a great start. This looks nice. Yeah, let's go here. Alright, so we've come to this brow bar. Just stumbled on it by accident. We've got a pint and a mojito and it came for under £6. If I lived here, I'd be a raging alcoholic. It's so cheap. How much was the food we got earlier? Uh, altogether eight pounds. Eight pounds for a Fritz cola, a large fry, and that humongous sandwich. Happy out, lads. Happy out. Okay, so we're on the Love Lock Bridge. We don't really know where we're going. We're on a bar hunt. So it's like Vida's day. Please ask me to download the scooter app so we can ride home. home. I'm not sure this is the best idea after so many drinks, but it's a long way home. We've got some tears. Okay. We're on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it looks like we're about to get on it here. Yeah. I think we're gonna switch to the yeah. GoPro because I'm so afraid to drop this camera. Okay. So as you can see, we put my phone in the scooter for directions and about 10 seconds later, the phone is no longer there. It fell out, but we didn't realize because we were having too much fun on the tier scooter. So here's a little <laughs> clip of us enjoying the scooter just before we realized that we'd lost my phone and debit card, which was inside. <laughs> oh God, it's cobblestone. <laughs> this is the equivalent of being back on a Vespa in Italy, back of a tier scooter in Krakow. That looks like a cool one. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> You're the best driver I got. Five star review. I'll leave you a tip it over. Five star to 
So about two minutes after this, we realized my phone was missing, rang it, which led us to here. So meet Milos from Serbia and EJ from the Philippines. So myself and Lee were driving on a scooter. This fool and this fell onto the ground. And these legends, these absolute legends, found my phone, answered, and gave me back my phone and saved my holiday. So we're having some shots. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, you're welcome. So after having some great crack and conversation with EJ and Milos, we headed home. But first we stopped into a burger bar because Lee was cold and hungry and I lent him my cardigan. We saw they had a wall full of post-it notes and asked if we could write some. The lady graciously agreed and here's what we wrote. Okay, if you guys come here, here's our note. Lee and Lauren, crack off surprise trip 2021. Nicest people ever. What do you write, Romeo? <laughs> I wrote a really selfless note. Lero, he got lost in slush cavalry. You asshole, what the phrase are you doing? Lero was a love note. Come, if you come here, find Lauren and me. What is the name of this place? Beef Burger Bar. Is this hard? <laughs> Sorry, we got distracted, thank you. Let's come in my video. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> Poland, number <laughs> one. You actually match? Match, <laughs> <laughs> Just as we were about to leave, we met this local Polish man who was trying to convince us to go to the pub down the road with him, but we explained we had plans tomorrow, but he was so, so nice. Oh my god, it's like everybody's... Your Polish, your Polish are lovely. Everybody's people. amazing. We're going to bed. Alright guys, I think this battery's going to die. This is day one of Krakow. It's off to a hectic start. We will see you tomorrow where you guys on Instagram control my day. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Take care, look after yourselves, goodbye, good luck. Bye!